Good morning. We'll discuss a few numerical problems on settlement. In this question, you are asked to estimate the immediate settlement of a concrete footing 1.5 meter square in plan found at a depth of 1 meter in silty soil. Poisson's ratio is given as 0.35. Modulus of elasticity is 900 kilogram per centimeter square and the footing is expected to transmit a pressure of 200 kilopascals. Now this is an immediate settlement as mentioned in the question. So immediate settlement means that it's elastic in nature with SI is equal to QB into 1 minus mu square by E multiplied by I as we have discussed in the theory portion where Q is a net foundation pressure in kilopascal B is the breadth of the footing in meter mu is the Poisson's ratio E is the Young's modulus in kilopascal of course everything should be in consistent units and IF is the influence factor that you have to interpolate from the tables so uh, excuse me for the mistake that I've made in this mu and this mu there's a difference marked here so nonetheless they're all poisons ratios now if I have the influence factor like we mentioned in the theory can be interpolated from the table a sample of which is given here now if you look at this table you can see that depending on the shape of the footing circular square rectangular etc there are two options flexible and rigid of course concrete is a rigid foundation so in this particular question this is square footing which is rigid in nature so you have this equation to estimate si or immediate settlement and q is given as 200 kilopascal directly b is the breadth of the footing is given as 1.5 meter in the question poisson's ratio mu is given as 0.35 Young's modulus is converting to the standard unit it gives you 9000 kilopascals influence factor IF from the previous table you get the value as 0.82 for a square footing with a rigid foundation influence factor 0.82 so substitute that value of 0.82 influence factor along with the other values that you are given with in the question into the equation and you get a value of around 0.024 meters for immediate settlement. Now this question is quite simple and quite direct except for the fact that you'll have to convert the units to a consistent manner. Next question, quite similar, you are asked to estimate the immediate settlement of a flexible footing, rectangular in plan, 2.4 by 1.2 meter, in clay, loaded at 300 kN per meter square, Poisson's ratios can be, ratio can be taken as 0.25, Young's more or less as 5000 kilopascals. Again, you use the same equation, SI is equal to QB into 1 minus mu square by E into influence factor. So in this particular question, the influence factor is that of a flexible footing because it's already given the question that the footing is flexible and with 2.4 by 1.2. So based on that, L by B of 2, 2.4 by 1.2 turns out to be 2, that based on which you get a value of uh, influence factor from the flex flexible uh, footing column in, in, in the table. So every other terms are given. You are given with Q, you are given with mu, you are given with E, and uh, you are given with B breadth. All you have to do is use the table, interpolate the value of influence factor based on the flexible or rigid nature that you expect. Same thing, Q is given as 300, B is 1.2, the least among 1.2 and 2.4. Mu is 0 0.25, Young's molus is 5,000 kilopascals. Influence factor IF is 1.31 from the table. And substituting all these values in the equation, the relation, you get SI, immediate settlement, as 0 0.088 meters. Next question is that of a consolidation settlement. You are 
you are given with a layer of sand 4 meter thickness and unit weight 20 kN per meter cube below which there is a clay layer and the clay layer is 2.5 meter thick with the properties unit weight 18 cc compression index 0.22 initial voids ratio 1.30 you are asked to calculate the final settlement of the clay layer due to an increase of pressure of 30 kilo pascals also as a second part of the question you are asked to do the same calculation when the water table rises to the ground level so the idea of the question is this you have a natural deposit of sand beneath which you have a clay layer and you are constructing something with a pressure of 30 kN per meter square above the sand layer at this level. So what is the settlement brought about by that increase in stress? That is a question. So that was part number one. Part number two, you're asked to see you're asked to calculate the same thing when the water table is at the ground level. So since this is not an immediate settlement and this is a consolidation settlement, the relation for consolidation settlement as we are familiar with is this as C primary consolidation settlement is equal to CC by 1 plus E naught into H log sigma 0 plus delta sigma 0 by sigma 0 where the terms are given here sigma 0 is the effective overburden pressure delta sigma 0 is the change in stress H is the height of the clay layer E naught is the initial voids ratio CC is the compression index now for almost every terms except sigma 0 is directly given in the question sigma 0 is nothing but the effective overburden pressure now for which i have marked a line in red dots here that is the mid thickness of the clay layer because whenever you apply a stress above the clay layer the top portion of the clay layer will have a higher settlement compared to the bottom portion so it's relative grading from top to bottom higher settlement there lower settlement the bottom so what you do is you take the average for which you consider the mid thickness of the clay layer which i have marked as the dotted red dotted dashed line so it's like this you have the sand layer beneath which you have the clay layer and inside which you have the mid thickness marks so in short you are interested to calculate the sigma zero at this level of the red dotted line and you are interested to calculate the settlement at that level so cc is directly given 0 0.22 e naught is directly given 1.30 h is the height of the clay layer which is 2.5 meter and to calculate sigma zero or the effective overburden pressure at this dotted line all you have to do is find the surcharge load above that which is 4 into 20 plus 1.25 into 18 so 4 into 20 is a unit weight of sand multiplied by the thickness of sand 1.25 into 18 is the mid thickness height of the clay layer multiplied by the unit weight of the clay layer so that gives you 102.5 kilopascal stress at the mid level marked in dotted line again you may have to cross check this answer you may have to work out on your own and just cross check whether you're getting a similar answer so that is sigma zero and delta sigma zero is already given in the question the increase in stress which is 30 kilopascal so you can substitute all these values into the equation to estimate the uh, primary consolidation settlement and the value turns out to be 0 0.0263 meters now the second part of the question you have the water table at the ground level like this so the only difference is that the difference in effective overburden pressure everything else remains the same void ratio remains the same compression index remains the same height of the clay layer remains the same delta sigma zero change in stress remains the same 30 the only thing that changes is the effective overburden pressure brought in by the submerged unit weight so assuming that the uh, unit weight of water is gamma w is equal to 10 kilonewton per meter cube 
the sand now will have a saturated unit weight 20 with submerged unit weight 20 minus 10 equal to 10. Likewise, clay will have 8 kN per meter cube. So in short, sigma 0 will be equal to 4 into 10 plus 1.25 into 8. So that gives you a value of 50 kPa. And delta sigma 0 is the same 30 kPa. So every other term remains the same and you substitute the value to get SC as around 0 0.0488 meters. So when the water table rises to the ground level, there's a change in settlement.